wanna see you twerk. I throw a little money to twerk. I don't really think you can twerk. Twerk. If you broke, go to work. Make that big booty twerk. Make that big booty twerk. What's good, y'all? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do acrylic nails at home, full blown salon style. Well, almost. Um, I'm just showing you a few things that you're gonna need nail file, nail block, q tip, a nice flat brush. I got that one at Walgreens for 99 cents. It's by um, Wet Seal. And then you can find one of these, um, I don't even know what this is called, a manicure set, I think, at Dollar Tree. Um, it's only gonna come with one pair of clippers. But I had a bigger pair just for, well, you'll see why later. Scissors, a bowl, acetone, and nail dryer. Um, here I have, what is this? Oh, Lord, my fingers that went in order. I think that was the top coat, the cuticle oil, a base, and the polish. And here's the acrylic, the primer, and the liquid. Lord, I make these videos so fast. And you're also going to need some nails, of course. So pretty much what you want to do is find nails, um, the nail tips that are your size. I do not recommend these ones with the overlap. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they're the overlap tip or something like that. Um, get the ones that are just the tips, like the ones that are at the nail salon. You can find like all of this stuff really in the new supply store or Walmart, Dollar Tree, Walgreens. Um, that's where a majority of this stuff came from. But I'm just fitting the nails onto my fingers and finding my right side. Thanks, it's on the beat. Now you want to take your nail block and use a, um, I guess it's like a medium side, that doesn't really make any sense, I'm sorry y'all, but take a good, um, not rough, but not too rough, I mean, I don't even know, take a good side and just file your nails down a little bit just to make um, the glue stick better. Now I'm going to take the cuticle pusher, I think that's what that's called, and I'm going to push my cuticles back. Now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to take my nail glue and I'm going to um, apply it to the nail. Not my thumb because it will be messy real quick. Um, and I'm gonna hold it down for like maybe like five, ten seconds. Um, just to make sure the nail is on there. If you have any spots where it seems like the glue is, like, whoa, what am I trying to say? If you have any spots around the corners where there's a glue gap, um, like an air bubble, just take the glue and run it right by that corner and it'll like fill in if that makes any sense. Alright, so now we're going to take our scissors. Um, if you have the fancy schmancy um, nail clippers, by all means, use them. Um, I think I'm going to invest in some. I don't even know because scissors work so well. 
kind of cheap, don't want, you know, yeah, whatever. But just cut them down to your desired nail length. Um, I recommend cutting a little bit longer than what you would actually want them because once you get done filing um, everything, they're going to end up just a little bit shorter anyway. So I cut a little longer than what I really want the finished product to be. But you know, whatever you want to do, boo, if you want to leave them long and just start shaping them, you can also do that. I also forgot to mention that you want to make sure that you measure them. That's what I'm doing right here, making sure that they are the same length. And um, with this yeah, entire like process, two, you want to kind of clean up as you go. Or just keep the space you're working with kind of tidy so that things don't get crazy and hectic because it can. Now, I'm just going to take my big clippers and clip the shape I want. Um, usually... I will get, if I get them done, I'll usually do like all almonds. Recently, I've been getting like, I want to say three out of the five fingers almond shape and I'll do two of them coffin. Like my pinky right now is going to be a coffin shape and all of the other ones are almond. I usually do my pointer and my pinky the same shape. Just a little something different, but um, yeah, forgot to put my pointers into coffin shapes, so we're going to work with it. It still came out really cute. Next, we're going to bust out the nail file. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is the best nail file ever, um, I found it in the nail block at Walgreens. Y'all, it's so like, it's one of the rough ones. Really I cannot talk. It's one of the rough ones. Um, so it just makes shaping really easy and quick. Um, the nail block has like three different textures on each side. Really four if you count the one that doesn't have anything on it, the pink side. Um, but yeah, I'm just shaping them how I want. If you want the almond shape, I suggest um, going straight up, like right there. <laughs> it's pretty fast, y'all. I am so sorry. I just hate to make my videos super long because I feel like people lose interest. But um, what I'm doing right now is exactly what I'm trying to explain. I go straight against the nail bed, and then when I get to the tips, I angle the nail file so um you're gonna be able to see it because i do it on like all my fingers you'll get the gist if not i am sorry i will do better but i'm really just going in with this nail file right now and it's really easy to do the shapes um just kind of envision it and then make it happen i mean i did all this i learned all this through trial and error it's like the fifth time I've done my nails and I finally felt comfortable enough to record it. So once you get done filing your nails with the nail file, take the nail block and go across the top. This is going to help to blend the nail tip with your nail bed or the bed of your nail, whatever. But um, it's just going to help even it out. I'm sorry if I get out of the camera a little bit. Um, I have really had to tell myself, girl, you are recording. Like, what's the point if you're not going to be in the camera? But um, yeah, I pretty much got everything. Just know I might be out of frame a little bit every now and then.
So now this next step is optional. Um, this nail, this electric nail file, I forgot what it's really called, but yeah, it's a little handheld one and it comes with those different heads, I guess. I don't know what the name of anything is, y'all. I just keep using it, but you know, Google. But I'm just taking this just to kind of perfect the edges and all that, kind of smooth everything down even more. You can do this with a nail file, I just find it easier with the little electric one. And now I'm going to get ready to do the actual acrylic. So, primer. You gotta prime before you do this. Um, these little nail sets, the kiss ones, you can find them at I think Walgreens, definitely Walmart and beauty supply stores. Um, the one, the the acrylic that comes with it is really small, so I had to keep refilling it. Luckily, I work at a beauty supply store now, so you girl got that discount. I can get a bigger one. Uh, I did the same thing with the acrylic liquid. Um, it was just too small for me. The primer lasts a really long time, though. Um, as you can see, I still have it. Oh my lord, y'all really just watch me struggle with this top. Um, but yeah, just pour it in the little glass container. And if you've ever been to the nail salon, you know what to do with this next. We're literally just going to wet the brush. And once you get the liquid on, I wet that first nail just to kind of see if this would work. But um, you don't have to do that. I wouldn't recommend it because the liquid kind of got everywhere. If it gets everywhere, once you put the powder on, it's going to go wherever the liquid went. So you will have acrylic all on the side of your thumb. Like, it's not cute. But, um, just take the gel, pack it on there, smooth it out, boom. Alrighty, now once you have all the acrylic on, you want to take your nail file again and reshape them. Um, sometimes the acrylic can kind of overlap, kind of fall over and mess up your shape. So this step is really just getting your shape back and sleek and perfect on the edges. So once you get done shaping them, make sure it looks something like this. Boom, yes. And what you see me doing here is I'm going back in with the nail block once again and I'm going over the top. So nail file for edges, nail block for the top. Um, this is going to help smooth everything out and give it a more even finish. Um, this is really the only step that I need to really perfect. Because even when I think I really smoothed the nail out, um, whenever I get ready to do my polish, I can still see a few ridges. It's nothing too crazy, but um, it would just really set it off. So make sure that you are smoothing that nail. And I believe I'm using the roughest side of the um, nail block to achieve this. Once you get done with this step, what you want to do next is apply some cuticle oil. This is also optional. This is the first time I actually did this. Um, <laughs> trying to be professional for you guys. It kind of got everywhere, but um, 
Luckily, I laid that towel down, so I suggest laying a towel down to keep your space clean. And um, it's not gonna damage the nail in any way. It's not gonna stain it or anything like that. After applying the cuticle oil, you wanna go wash your hands, and then it's time to start painting the nail, you guys. We're almost done. Um, I'm applying a base coat. This is also something new that I've never done before. Again, trying to be professional for you guys, I guess. Um, I also kind of wanted to see how, like, if it was going to make any difference to how long my nail polish lasts. And I forgot to mention, um, these acrylics usually last me the whole two weeks. Um, same as salon time. So, if anything, after the two-week mark, maybe, like, one will pop off. And then you could just... You know, reapply it. Usually, after one pops off, um, I just take them all off. It's sad, but um, you could definitely keep it going. Another thing I've noticed with this method is the nails don't really grow out to be refilled. They just kind of pop off. But only one. I've only had one pop off after the whole two week. Uh, usually, by the third week, I have like. Two nails missing, three, so it does last. But anyway, after applying that base coat, you want to go ahead and apply your color. I'm using this new color I got from Walmart. It's Insta Dry. Don't know what color it is. I'll probably leave it in the description below. Um, if I forget, please comment. And while you're commenting, like and subscribe and share with your people. Um, you know, help a sister out. But yeah, I really suck at like painting my nail. Like the first few will look okay. Or at least my what hand? My left hand will come out looking good because my right hand is my dominant and so I have more control. Once I get to the other side, I'm pretty much just covering the whole finger and nail polish and then cleaning it up. And um, I am going to include how I clean up my nail polish for you guys. So yeah, just just enjoy this monstrosity of a paint job. I know it doesn't look bad now. I'm probably going to cut out where I got nail polish all over my finger. But um, just know I went through some stuff to get y'all this video. So this part came up way sooner than I thought. Um, I was literally just talking to you guys. But I'm taking this angled brush. It's just an old angled brush. And I put some acetone in the cap. And now I'm just going along the edges. I find this to be the easiest way to um, remove nail polish. I've tried the whole like, glue technique type. Um, doesn't really do that much for me. So I'd rather just go in. At least I know I'm getting like right to the edge. And I have more control over it. This is how I clean up my nail polish. Makes it really easy. Once you get done cleaning your nails up, they should look like this. Y'all, they're looking good. They're looking cute. Um, now I'm going to take a top coat and just put it on top. I kind of go crazy with the top coats just because I know it's clear. Um, yeah, I see. Struggling. But um, just finish with the top coat and then you're done.
I also forgot to mention this last step is optional but if you want to take a nail dryer to cut down your nail drying time I highly suggest it um, while your nails are drying just watch a show I was watching Orange is the New Black y'all but here's the finished product I hope you guys like them